Which new receiving duo are you more excited to check out and root on this season? Devonte and AJ or down in Atlanta, Kyle Pitts and another big boy, eighth overall pick by the Falcons, Drake London. Tori, if you say anything besides E A G L E S Eagles, you're lying. Those two right there, I'm excited to see the physical presence of both of them. AJ Brown, I feel like Howie went out and was like, listen, I'm tired of drafting guys. Mm. Let me go get the short thing. And I'm a firm believer in what he did. A short thing as a player is better than any draft pick. I don't care what anyone tells you. And so Devontae Smith, being that he has all the potential in the world to be a superstar receiver, he may not say one word on the field, but his play speaks for itself. They both can run the entire route tree. And I love it's like a thunder and lightning type of matchup. They both have the ability to go into the a slot as well, but you're getting two different style of players. I'm looking forward to seeing how they match, and I think for Jalen Hurts, this is huge for his development. You know, people can question at times yeah. Carson and the environment that was around him primarily due to injuries, but for Jalen Hurts right now, they're put a, they put a group around him, and guys are going to have the opportunity to go out there and compete, and he's going to have a real shot. Speaking of Carson, can we pull up the graphic again of A.J. Brown and Devontae yeah. Smith? Can we just see that one more time, because I can't get over A.J. Brown wearing Carson Wentz's <laughs> old number. Is that photoshopped onto Carson Wentz's body? He always had the sleeve, right, on one side? It is wild. A lot of, a lot of repurposed Carson Wentz jerseys is going to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> it's at, uh, Lincoln the Fire Philly way with Doug State. Uh, I want to go back to 2020. All right, week 11. It is the Titans and the Ravens. You need a big spot. And I've talked many times on this show about A.J. Brown. I put him in my top five okay. receivers last year. I got a lot of tweets about it. I'm a big A.J. Brown fan just in terms of the physicality and the presence he brings. Watch this play, the touchdown that A.J. Brown has in this game against Baltimore. Count the tackles inside the 10. That's one. Okay, nope, not bringing him down with arms. That's that's two. That is three. Four good. men. Let's just, I'm just going to bull you into the end zone. That's what the Eagles haven't had. They've used three consecutive first-round picks now on receivers. Jim. Hmm. Rager, Devontae Smith, now A.J. Brown. They got speed before, obviously, with Devontae Smith, but now that physical presence with the style that they want to play, the run element that Jalen Hurts can bring as well, it's the type of player that they've been targeting for a long time. They finally got it. Wow, you two have me excited about the Eagles. Yeah. Shriggs, what do you got? Um, I, is that the same game that Vrabel and Harbaugh got into it in, in, in the middle of the field and they were bickering back yeah. and forth? I was I there. That, that was it. Been, we were there. I that think that might have been that one. There's no love lost between those two teams. Um, all right, someone's got to take the other one. I, I want to see this Twin Tower offense. I want to see what we've got. I, look, you've got two giant men playing <laughs> in an offense in Atlanta, and I'm curious to see how it works. In today's speed NFL, they're rolling out 6'6 six, six, and 6'4 six, as their number one and number two option in Atlanta with Arthur Smith as the head coach who's going to draw things up. Look, you don't take this wide receiver eighth overall over a Garrett Wilson, over a Jamison Williams, and over a Chris Olave, unless you believe he is a true, true number one. Uh, Drake London was an absolute beast in the uh, Pac-12. Let's see how it translates to the NFL. And gosh, Kyle Pitts is 6'6 and runs like the wind. You've got both of these guys in the same offense. Good luck, 5'9 corner in the red zone. Like, mm. I'm curious to see how they really employ this offense. And gosh, what a what a shame that Calvin Ridley is not there and that they lost Russell Gage because I would argue that that's kind of the hardest wide receiver and tight ends need to stop. At the very least, you do have Cordero Patterson. I think everyone's right in Atlanta off. Drake London is a very good wide receiver. And in the red zone, when you've got 6'4 and 6'6 and both those guys play like their wide receiver ones, good luck. Some pretty good defenses in that division with yeah. those guys. Mariota versus Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts has to get those guys the ball uh, with perfect timing in those routes. I don't know. I'm, I'm interested to see how that all shakes out. But, uh, Shriggs, that would be really fun. And I feel like people slept on Kyle Pitts last year. Yeah, he had a great year. He had 1,000 yards. What did people want from him that he wasn't talked about after the season was said and done? It was a quiet performance down there for a very quiet Atlanta team that won eight games.